Hello, and today I'm going to be doing dot com secrets. Click and subscribe. Email 5. Urgency and CTA. This is usually the last email in my soap opera sequence. The goal is to give the reader one last push to go take action right now. You can do that by adding urgency to the equation or using a call to action CTA up to this point. You've been casually using CTAs, but in this last email, you want to light a little fire under your readers. What legitimate reasons can you come up with that would make them need to take action right away? Your webinar starts tomorrow. You only have 10 seats left at your event. You have, you only ordered a thousand books and most of them are gone. You're pulling the video offline. Whatever the reason, your urgency needs to be real. Fake urgency will backfire on you and you'll lose all credibility. Just think of a reason why you might run out of whatever you're selling. If it's an evergreen product, then you create a special sale that ends soon or give read on, readers a coupon that expires in 24 hours. Be creative. There's always some way to create real urgency. That's how soap opera sequence works. Email 1 pushes the reader to email 2, email 2 pushes the reader to email 3, and so on. Notice that emails themselves are easy to read and fast to scan. I never write more than one or two sentences per line, and I add in lots of white space. Do not use long paragraphs because they slow down people down and look very overwhelming when they're trying to decide if they want to read it or not. This will only funnel in my value ladder. I'll move someone from this soap opera sequence in my daily sign field email list. If I have other funnels in my value ladder, I'll move them from this soap opera sequence in the next soap opera sequence in this value ladder. So basically, you need to create urgency with your last email and like real urgency because fake urgency backfires on you. And so Alien stole my homework in the book, Mirror Brother, about a kid named Ned, and Alien stole his homework, and Kobe Soup with the book, Mirror and Me, about a guy named Bob, and how he's looking for something good to eat. When he finds it, the ingredients are unexpected, and these books are on Amazon's provide them there. Okay, I hope you liked that. If you did, please like and subscribe. Bye.